brand new Sony acquisition leads to buy one, get one free, essentially. Fire Sprite had an announcement of their own saying that they had just acquired Fabric Games. They made the announcement on their official site saying that in connection with Fire Sprite joining PlayStation Studios, these two studios now that previously worked together on first person horror games, The Persistence. On top of that, Fire Sprite's managing director, Graham Ankers, is also the founder of Fabric, and the connection goes deeper still. Quote, we have a history working and collaborating closely with Fire Sprite. Fabric Studios head Errol Ismael said, there's a huge amount of creative and cultural alignment already, and the entire team is excited to be on board. We can't wait to show everyone what we're capable of. With Fabric officially part of Fire Sprite, that brings the new PlayStation Studios headcount up to an impressive 265, with several more openings currently being advertised. Now, this was a strange one. Usually, when a big manufacturer like Sony or Microsoft or Nintendo purchase a studio, it's a one-off, they purchase them, they make the big announcement. I don't know if I can remember a time when a studio purchased a another studio and then a day or two later that studio announced an acquisition of their own usually it's sony saying they acquired the other studio because now fire spread is part of sony it'd be like if microsoft purchased bethesda which they did then a day later bethesda having their own announcement saying they purchased the studio it's just strange you're part of microsoft now you're a microsoft first party studio so microsoft should be the one making the announcement here there was probably talks ongoing between these two studios before sony stepped in to purchase fire sprite and maybe there's a legal issue with them saying they purchased the studio fabric games so fire sprite needed to make that announcement but essentially what this means is that sony acquired a studio and got another studio a two for one and there are a ton of people behind both of these studios now joining the playstation family and the persistence and their expertise in particular with vr this is a big one here because playstation 5's VR is coming. It's going to be incredible. I love VR. If you've ever tried VR, once you try it, you're sold. And the expertise behind that particular genre of VR with Fabric Games and Fire Sprite could go a long way into giving great experiences for that device. I'm also going to hazard a guess that the persistence is going to be part of some PlayStation Plus giveaway one month now that Sony owns this studio. It was a VR title that was really good, and then they brought it to full 3D so that you didn't need to play it in VR. Curiously enough, I played it on the Xbox Series S. It was enhanced and the game is really good. Think survival horror meets sort of, uh, I guess a one die and you start all over again. So it is pretty difficult, but it was unique and it was something that I think would be great to have in an exclusive lineup. Fabric Games also made a top down sort of uh, Metal Gear Solid-esque, the original on PlayStation 1 game, where you had a lot of choices, and uh, you can go stealth, you can go uh, full-out action. The game was called Filthy Lucre, and the pitch is it's your heist, your way, solo or co-op, all guns blazing or slow and stealthy, overthrow a criminal empire protected by an army of private security in a series of daring heists across the city. They also made a game called The Lost Bear, which was a game that utilized a unique combination of fully realized 3D VR environments and 2D platforming. So, two for one, let me know what you think about this acquisition. Do you think it's going to lead to more virtual reality content for the PlayStation 5? Think about sharing this video out on your favorite social media platform of choice. Maybe subscribe to the channel. At the very least, hit the like button. It would help me grow the channel. This was a strange one. Purchase a studio, and then that studio announces an acquisition. I don't think I've ever seen this happen before, but again, as I said, it was probably some sort of legal issue. They were in talks before Sony stepped in to purchase the one studio, and Sony just couldn't say that they purchased the other one. Either way, I think it's exciting times. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Again, are you excited about PlayStation VR in general? PlayStation 5 VR looks to take the initial experience and turn it up to 11. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.